Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to look at a very cool project uh, that has been you know, created by Alibaba Group. Uh, you can find it out here on my screen. It says Institute for Intelligent Computing, IIC uh, from Alibaba Group. And they have you know, created this very cool project called Outfit Anyone. This is now it's showing you the next you know revolution in the virtual try on world okay, that how ai is transforming the virtual try on imagine this for a fashion or the e-commerce or a chaos kind of a machine where you can integrate this uh, this technology right uh, this is empowered by you know generative ai which is of course this is based on diffusion models we'll cover that in a bit but you know this is the project that we are going to look at it they have right now given a github repository where you can read more about it and this is an abstract this is the method i will you know very quickly cover the architecture in a very layman term so if you don't understand these terminologies that i will make it very you know, very simplified but you can see this is how you know there's a there's an image of uh, Kylian mbappe who is a french footballer who plays for psg okay and you can see is a portugal jersey and how does he how does he look in that portugal jersey so what it does is now you have a model for example and you want to you know try it out different garments you know on top of the the person a model he or she right so you can find it out immediately using this now this might take a lot of job i feel in the coming years of for the models because you can create these models using diffusion model and you can also integrate within you know uh, this uh, outfit anyone so just imagine where we heading now guys uh, it supports you can see there's a video there's a you know different demos samples you know different kind of uh, garments you can try it out and they have given a hugging face space to try it out as well we'll see the demo in a bit uh, but if you look at the architecture here guys what they are trying to do okay uh, so on very high level if i explain the uh, this architecture or process for a virtual try on system basically that helps you digitally simulate how clothing would look like on a person or a model if you break down this you know architecture with simpler explanations and you know probably a mathematical intuition behind it the first is you know the prompt and image encoder okay it, it, basically it takes a text prompt for example you know if you if you read this it says a oh, women wearing a black t-shirt and you know a printing shorts and an image of the garment now and encodes them into a format that the model can understand okay so this involves transforming the text and image of course into high dimensional vectors so again the embeddings the vectors which are nothing but the arrays of numbers using techniques like you know different you know of course neural networks and the models that we have uh, at our disposal now these vectors capture the essential features and features and semantics of the input that's what it, the, the, it does now the next is zero sort try on network that you see it over here on this uh, this part of the architecture now this network uh, takes the encoded information that's coming from here this part and tries to generate a preliminary image of the women wearing the described outfit you can see it over here without having seen this exact combination and that's basically it's a zero sort that's why hence it's called zero sort that you see now this network uses cross attention of course it, it, it has been using cross attention mechanisms to align features of the garment the features that the garment has with the appropriate parts of the body of this model that we see of course this involves if you go a bit mathematically uh, you know deeper into it this involves metric operations you know that highlight or attend to that's what it attentions highlight relevant features in the garment when mapping into uh, mapping it uh, onto the body shape now that's what this part does now we have you know post uh, hoc refiner now this is interesting because this component takes the this preliminary image and refines it to look more realistic so it adjusts the fit the folds and the way the garment wraps on the body the refiner likely use a form of error correct correction right that that's what we will have here uh, in the back end where it identifies parts of the image that don't look right you know some of the areas might not look right and adjust them to minimize the difference between the generated image and a realistic portrayal now this can involve 
you know you know iterative optimization techniques that's what this does and now in the below section you have your conditional diffusion model now this is the core model that generates the final image okay taking into account all the inputs and refinements to produce a high quality representation of the clothing on the model that you see so basically the default diffusion model that you see on a very high level work by gradually transforming a random noise distribution so the random noise that you get uh, into uh, from here, you know, it is basically transform that noise distribution into an structured image. Now this process is guided by encoded prompt, image information, and involves you know a bit of probabilistic modeling and sampling to generate new pixels, you know, step by step. That's what on a very high level, guys. You know, to summarize it, the system uses the text and garment image to create a vector representation which is then used to generate a preliminary image of a person wearing the garment and this image is then refined to look more realistic and a conditional diffusion model uses probability and attention mechanisms to ensure that the final image looks as natural as possible so on a very high level this is how you know we have, we're, going to, we're going to explain the architecture now they also have given uh if, if you come here on the github repository they have given a github repository they have now more than one one thousand stars already just in two days and if you see it says version 0 0.9 is now available on hugging face we'll go to a face in a bit and you can find out again the details here so let's come on the uh, uh, demo here now the right now you cannot upload your own model okay uh, only you can upload the garments right now for the safety and privacy they have some default models that you can you know, try it out now it says for a one piece dress or coat you only need to upload the image to the top garment section and leave the lower garment section empty you know uh, and you can see that for we'll upload a image there now models are fixed and cannot be uploaded or modified we only support that's what i said right so they have some options you can if you if you want a you know a female model you can select it from here there are different examples of models that they have given for try it out and there are some examples that you can quickly uh, select if you don't have a, uh, an image or of a garment uh, handy with you now let me click on something and you know upload here in my downloads i'm going to upload a trench coat and let's see you can see it says uploading one file it uploads the file it's 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 an image of a trench coat so now imagine if i have a garment and of trench coat and i want to try it out using this outfit anyone virtual try on and let me just click on run now once i click on run it says the application is too busy keep trying and you know that's the problem with this kind of uh, applications but we'll keep trying out and see if it gets done it says there is a long queue of request pending duplicate this space to skip but i'm not going to duplicate this space now what i will do here is that i'll pause the video and i will come back uh, come back once this is done so let me just come back when this gets completed or once i get the output here guys so let me just do that all right so you see the output now guys here let me just download the image uh, i will just download the image and uh, let me show you the output that we get okay uh, this is the output uh, now you tell me in comment box if you if you finding this uh, an amazing uh, uh, like a, a response and output when you are trying virtually i think uh, very close depends on what kind of uh, you know garments we are choosing the resolution resolutions of that image and how aligned with it but you know not that impressive at least for this image let's try it out if possible but probably right that's also a problem because you know it might give you uh uh let me see where that image i selected okay maybe i don't try this image uh, and let's see it says the application is too busy again that's the problem but right so, so the see the demo is always good that's what you know people were saying that gemini google has faked the gemini demo right so never go on uh looking at the demo when you see it people create demos with good looking responses right once you test it out then you know that how it's performing so virtual try-ons like i think it's fine because we've been trying uh, trying it out right because a lot of uh, other applications we have seen for virtual try-on and this is not something new that we are looking at it i will not keep on waiting it let me know your findings and thoughts on this project output outfit anyone it says ultra high quality virtual try on which does not look ultra to me at least so i will 
probably not give you know if i have to rate this i will rate this six out of ten for now okay uh, this project outfit anyone yeah but this is a this is a great start credit goes to uh, the team here of alibaba group the institute for intelligent computing for creating this project and uh, creating this architecture as well so people can get a bit of you know inspiration from this and they work on their own project and you can see i think probably it's not deployed on such good compute that it's not able to take the load so it's fine now if you come to files you can look at the files here if you want to look at uh, the model map the model that they are using the uh, you can find it out here the way the it has been you know uh, it, it has been inferencing it at least you can find it out uh, from this so you can see request.get ip config.me ip you know, it's basically hitting some uh, servers to generate the response where they would have deployed this model okay so that's not a rocket science yeah but this is fine you can try it out let me know your uh, thoughts and feedbacks on this project guys so that's all for this video i'll give the link of this project the uh, the github and this demo in the uh, description uh, and if you like the video please hit the like icon if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe the channel uh, that's all for this video guys thank you so much for watching see you in the next one